Shalom, my name is Yoshua Yaakov, I'm making this song. Shalom, my name is Yoshua Yaakov, and I'm making this video from Jerusalem. It's a comment on the bailout uh, by the U.S. Congress. First, uh, uh, congratulations on the House, uh, the Republican leadership that led the rejection in the House, uh, and since passed uh, yesterday uh, in the Senate, um, now a few uh, uh, pointed comments. Uh, first, the sideshow that's Wall Street should be put in perspective. The credit default swaps, their CDSs, um, are the fundamental problem, and that's derived from the banking system that is uh, privately trading some $55 trillion of uh, instruments outside of regulation, and in fact, uh, not just domestically, but significantly globally. And uh, they are packaging uh, many of their debts that um, uh, they want to be able to move off their balance sheet. And this is how they're doing it. This is the deeper problem. So let me make the first comment. The so-called bailout is not a bailout, number one. Number two, the 700 billion is not 700 billion with the perks and the pork barrel spending and the add-ons. It's now a trillion. And this is just a down payment. Uh, and uh, further, if you take the entire U.S. capital markets, we're talking probably somewhere in the order of a total market cap for all the shares being traded, somewhere in the range of 15 trillion, which is really about one quarter of the, uh, of the uh, uh, CDSs, the uh, 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 default uh, uh, certificates that are being traded. And this is, this is really the, the big problem. And of course, uh, using these uh, uh, CDSs, these credit default swaps, uh, the banks, uh, of course, uh, took all of their uh, mortgage assets and uh, packaged them into tranches, uh, which simply is a fancy word, a French word for slices. And they marketed them as well and, and packaged them and put uh, AAA ratings as well. They drank the Kool-Aid, folks. And that's what caused Wall Street to disappear. So if we put it in perspective, the subprime meltdown is uh, a reality. Um, it's the smaller problem. The larger problem is the credit default swaps that are trading. It was up as high as 62 trillion globally. It's now back down from 62 trillion to uh, 55 trillion, which is about four times the entire gross domestic product uh, of the American economy. So uh, let's put in perspective, uh, Henry Paulson, uh, you, know, you know, he's been criticized for the way he went about selling it, but uh, I would say he had a fiduciary responsibility to be significantly more forthcoming and honest. This problem was around for quite a few years before it was suddenly discovered. The fact of the matter is the genie got out of the bottle and they had no choice but to address and deal with it. And he and Bernanke uh, uh, gave a very uh, glib uh, a presentation to the both houses of the Congress, but uh, Greenspan uh, uh, and uh, back to Clinton, when the Clinton wanted everybody put in a house, uh, that's where Wall Street got the wink and the green light to create this subprime mess. And the guy who probably most failed in his fiduciary responsibilities as a public servant was Alan Greenspan. Now, these are the perspectives. Um, uh, so who, who is Yeshua Yaakov? That's, that's me. Uh, and, and what gives me the right to make these statements and to comment? Well, the solution is uh, 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 the very thing that's going to restore uh, confidence. And that's what's really missing, trust and confidence. And to restore trust and confidence, we have to have someone who has clean hands, uh, who has served uh, and produced a solution that uh, deals with the big picture. Okay, now my commercial message. <laughs> I apologize, but I like to put the cards on the table. I'm the author of the trilogy, Humanomics, that isn't yet published. It'll be published on the internet. It's comprised of two paradigms. It's central organizing principles, the new 
cognitive behavioral science first principle receiver to give, and the second is the new economic paradigm that replaces the old industrial model of the uh, division of labor. It's called the integration of labor. It identifies information in classical terms as a new agent of transformation. This is the solution. And uh, I will make a prediction. Not only is the one trillion um, uh, already landed in a black hole in space, the Congress, uh, the House of Representatives will follow the Senate and approve it. And this is just a down payment, folks. Uh, there's a few more trillion yet to come. Now, if we want to wake up and get smart, we should say no. We should have uh, we should have not blinked first, and the, and the Senate and the House should have said no, and let the cards fall where they will, and they should have taken up a uh, a mandate to create uh, a new global technologic infrastructure based on the new economic paradigm. Why? Well, it would only take about a five trillion investment. Well, sixty percent of that or three trillion would come from the G9 as strategic partners, the EU and so on, Japan, Germany. Uh, so America would only have to invest two trillion. It was already thrown away one trillion, number one. Number two, it would create tens of millions of good paying, sustainable jobs, retooling, re-educating, retaining the entire US workforce based upon the new economic model, the new economic paradigm model, which in fact would bring the benefits of the Virginia model to every state in the United States. Now that's the solution in terms of the big picture. It would uh, triple the purchasing power of the dollar and that's what the econometric models tell us and they're correct uh, uh, and uh, it would eliminate the trade deficit, uh, it would eliminate the national deficit, the trade deficit and the social security deficit and it would have sufficient surpluses after those debts were eliminated to fund a comprehensive national insurance free for every American and uh, pay for uh, college education for every American for those who want to go to school. Uh, this is the solution and so this is where I uh, derive the authority to say the things that I've said and to make the criticisms that I've made. I do not criticize Bernanke because Bernanke is the new kid on the block. Uh, you know, and uh, he's doing his best, but I would not trust the Mr. Paulson uh, who walked out of Goldman with $500 million in his pocket and a golden parachute, and a year later he's peddling, uh, you, know, uh, you know, wrapped in the flag, he's peddling a rescue for uh, the, f the, the, the firms that are now all hidden in banks that uh, have not only uh, have those firms, uh, all of them, and he was a part of it, uh, produced the subprime mess and uh, packaged uh, these uh, uh, credit default swaps. Uh, they drank the Kool-Aid on Wall Street. That's how they all fell down, uh, such as uh, Lehman and uh, Merrill and all of them, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs. Uh, who's, looked, uh, who's looked at Goldman Sachs and who looked at Merrill Lynch? Who looked at, uh, uh, who looked at these companies? You know, who says that they're so great, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs? Come on, folks. Uh, you know, uh, they're telling. Uh, they're telling. Uh, they're 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 spinning a tale here, folks. And uh, we've bought a we've bought a we've bought a the Brooklyn Bridge for uh, for five bucks. Okay. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening. I'm Yeshua Yankov. I'm the author of the trilogy Humanics, and it's central organizing principle received to give the new economic paradigm the integration of labor. This is the solution. And I predict that there's much more to come. The bailout is not the bailout, it's just the beginning. And we better wake up and we better uh, focus on what in fact is the broader and deeper and comprehensive solution. Thank you for listening. I'm Yeshua Yaakov from Jerusalem.